Namaste. Hello, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for our yin yoga sequence to open up our hips. Yin yoga is a style of yoga that is meant to be deep and gentle as we hold the postures for about two minutes each to get a deeper, more relaxing release of the muscles we are trying to let go. So I have a Pawan Muktasana series that I will link below, which is a joint mobility sequence that will help loosen up our joints to avoid injury before we jump into anything that is deep for our muscles and our joints. So go ahead and hop over and do that sequence first and then meet me back here. The only things that we will need today is an optional pillow or blanket if you would like to prop our hips up on in some postures to um, make sitting a bit more comfortable or make the postures a bit more comfortable. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to move very mindfully and gently over to a tabletop position. Once you're there, go ahead and tuck your toes under and push your bottoms up high into a downward facing dog. Slight bend in the elbows. And go ahead and walk it out here. So straightening one leg, bending the other, pushing our sternum towards our thighs tailbone up high and breathe deep. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and begin to go into our first posture. So now bringing our right knee to our right wrist. Go ahead and slightly walk out that left leg so that it is flat against the mat. Gaze behind you and check to see that your hips are square. So pulling that left hip forward, pushing that left, right hip back. If you want, you can go ahead and grab that pillow or blanket if you have it and tuck it up under that hip, that right hip, and that may make this posture a bit more comfortable. If this is enough stretch for you, if you're feeling a good stretch in the outer edge of that right hip, just being up like this, please stay here. If you have a bit more stretch, go ahead and come down to your elbows and maybe gently resting your forehead onto your hands or the pillow or onto the mat. Go ahead and gently close your eyelids once you're in a comfortable position. Bring your awareness into your body and notice where you might be holding. So maybe you're holding through your glute muscles, you're squeezing them and tightening them, or maybe you're holding in your hips. Just try to really be aware of that and let it go. Make sure you're breathing deep into your belly focusing on the areas that you may be holding. body into a meditative state where you are just focusing on your body and any other thoughts that may make their way into your mind, gently try to let them go.
gently, if you are down, gently push your torso up. Now we're going to go ahead and slightly pull that back leg forward so you can bend your knee. Bring that right knee back to meet the left so we're back in our tabletop position. Go ahead and tuck those toes and push yourself up into a downward facing dog. Once more, go ahead and walk it out. Take a big deep breath. And we're gonna go ahead and switch to the opposite side. So now bringing that left knee towards the left wrist, walking that right leg out, gazing behind us to make sure that our hips are square. So pulling the right hip forward, pushing that left hip back. If you want that pillow, you can go ahead and tuck it underneath the left hip. If this is enough stretch for you, stay here. If you want to come down, Go ahead and bring your elbows down to bring your torso towards the mat. You can set your forehead down on the mat if that feels good for you. Go ahead and gently close your eyelids. Again, notice where you might be gripping or holding and try to let it go. Breathe deep into that belly. As you are holding this posture for long periods of time, you may notice that you need to readjust your body or adjust it as it's releasing and relaxing. And that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and just move in which ways your body feels comfortable. But just focusing on releasing that left hip. If you are pregnant, make sure that you are making room for your belly. So you're not squishing your baby. So if that means staying up on your elbows or your hands, just stay there. So setting down that back knee, untucking the toe. Make sure that your front knee is over your front ankle. We're going to go ahead and square off our hips here. So bringing back that right hip, pushing forward with the left hip. You should be feeling this all along the front of that left hip flexor. So the front of that left hip. This is going to be one of our yin yoga postures. So we're going to be holding this for a bit. You can go ahead and keep your hands planted on the mat if you wish. Otherwise, you could come up, bring your torso up, and 
resting your hands on your knee or maybe onto your hip. Whatever feels comfortable for your body today. And go ahead and gently close your eyelids. If that makes your balance feel weird or wonky or hard to hold, you can keep your eyes open and just gaze at a point. Go ahead and pull your shoulders away from your ears. And let go. Notice if you're holding through those glutes and try to relax them. Allow your body to release. you are at. If you're up, go ahead and bring your hands down to touch the mat. Go ahead and tuck those back toes underneath and push up off of that back knee. We're going to go ahead and gently bring our front leg back to meet our back in our downward facing dog. Walk it out, bring some gentle movement into the body. And now go ahead and bring that left foot in between the hands. Walk back that back foot and drop down the knee, untucking the toes. Square off the hips, so bringing back the left hip, pushing forward with the right hip. Feeling this all through that right hip flexor. Going to where you feel comfortable, so maybe bringing your torso up. Or if it felt more comfortable to stay low, just stay low. If your balance feels okay, go ahead and gently close your eyelids. Bring your awareness into your body and to your breath. Breathing deep into the belly. And with every exhale, letting go a bit more. torso is up, 
Go ahead and bring your hands down to meet your mat. Go ahead and untuck that back toe, pushing up through the knee and bringing that left leg back to meet the right in that downward facing dog. Walking it out once more. And then very gently coming down to your tabletop position. Go ahead and rock side to side, bringing some movement into those hips. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cross one ankle over the other and gently guide our bottoms over our feet. We're gonna come into our next yin yoga posture. Now, if you wanna prop your hips up on a pillow or a blanket, go ahead and do so as we're gonna be sitting in this posture. And we're gonna come into our cow posture. So go ahead and bring the right leg over the left. Now, it doesn't need to be knee directly on top of knee. You can have it, you know, wherever it feels comfortable for you. If it feels more comfortable like this, that's perfectly fine. As long as you're feeling a stretch in the outer edges of those hips on both sides. Now sometimes it may help to come a bit forward onto our hands and knees, bringing both knees down and then guiding ourselves back down, forcing the knees on top of each other. Well, not you never want to force anything, but that will just help them align if you have the stretch. Now making sure that both sit bones are grounded either onto that mat or on that pillow if you're propped up. Possibly walking the feet out to the sides a bit. And now once you feel comfortable, go ahead and gently close your eyelids. If sitting up straight feels good for you, just stay here. If you have a bit more stretch, you can go ahead and walk your fingertips forward ever so slightly keeping the spine straight. This will intensify the stretch. Remembering to breathe deep into the belly and release the muscles you may be holding. Relaxing your face, trying to relax your forehead and in between your eyebrows, relaxing your jaw. If you're forward, go ahead and gently guide your torso back up. We're gonna go ahead and switch sides. So if you want, you can just go ahead and undo your legs and switch with your left on top of your right. If however you wanna do this cool little switcheroo that I've got here, go ahead and turn towards the left side, bringing your hands down to the mat, bringing your hips up, spinning on those feet and then bringing the hips back down. So that will bring us to having the opposite knee over the other knee. Now maybe coming forward again to help the knees align and then sitting back down. 
making sure both sit bones are grounded wherever you're at. Go ahead and sit up tall, bringing the shoulders away from the ears. Now if this feels good in both of those hips, just stay here. And if you have a bit more of a stretch, gently walk your fingertips forward, just tipping from your hips, not bending through your spine. Wherever you're at, go ahead and gently close your eyelids. body into that meditative state, allowing yourself to focus on yourself and your body, which what is truly what's important right at this moment. If your thoughts begin to wander, gently let those thoughts go. Bring everything that you have, all your awareness, back to your body and your breath. If your torso is down, go ahead and gently walk it back up, bringing it back to an upright position. Wonderful. This time we're going to go ahead and just bring that top leg around and coming back onto our hands and knees in our tabletop position. We're going to go ahead and go into our final yin posture for our hips, which is going to be our frog pose. So go ahead and bring your knees out wide. Out as wide as is comfortable. Don't go so far that it's painful. Just go to where it feels good for your inner thighs. Now wherever your knees are, have your uh, legs, your calves, and your shins just directly off from those knees. So those are straight. And then go ahead and set the insides of your feet onto the mat. So your toes should be pointing away from your body. Go ahead and rock forward and back here, finding where you feel the biggest stretch. Then once you're there, go ahead and find some stillness. If you want, you can bring your torso down, coming onto your elbows. Go ahead and wherever you're at, now gently close your eyelids. Breathe deep into your belly. Try to let go of those inner thighs that may be fighting against you to release. Just gently try to let it go.
torso is down. Go ahead and gently come back up onto your hands. Go ahead and gently bring one knee into the middle, then the other, and once more. Just moving super slowly, being mindful of those joints. Wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and come to a seated position. And then once you're there, go ahead and roll down one vertebrae at a time to lay in Shavasana pose. Palms facing up towards the sky, feet relaxed out to the side, and gently closing your eyelids. Now, if you're pregnant, I don't want you laying flat on your back as that's not good because the baby will crush down on your fina cava, reducing blood flow to you and your baby. So go ahead and either lay down on one of your sides or you can just come to a nice seated position. Wherever you're at, close your eyelids and begin to relax. body scan, starting with the crown of your head, moving all the way slowly down your body to your toes, releasing as you move down the body. ahead and do a bit of singing bowl meditation for you. So go ahead and stay wherever you are with your eyelids closed and just listen to the sounds of the vibrations created by the singing bowl. My singing bowl resonates with our root chakra which is located at the base of your spine and is the color red. So focus on that area, really pay attention to that area and focus on the color red. Listen to the sounds and what it does for you. of the bowl, feel how your root chakra feels, take a deep breath in, and exhale, let it go. If you would like to continue lying in Shavasana, go ahead and end the video here. If, however, you would like to come and meet me in a seated position, if you're not already there, go ahead and gently roll to one side. 
Now when you feel ready, push yourself up using your hands up to the seated position. Once you're there, go ahead and we'll all take a deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath into the belly. And exhale, let it go. Now on this breath, bringing our arms up overhead, palms together in prayer position. And exhale, hands down in between the eyebrows at your third eye point or your point of intuition. And now exhale, bring them down to heart center. Thank you all so much for taking this time to do something beneficial for your body, your mind, and your soul. I honor you, and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I'm trying to put out videos every other day. I would love to see you again, and thank you so much. Bye.